I've heard a story of a Catholic pastor who was walking around his neighborhood when he saw a group of children all gathered around a puppy dog. Intrigued, the pastor stopped and asked the children what they were doing. One of them said, Father, we're having a contest to see who can tell the biggest lie, and whoever does will win the puppy. The zealous priest, not happy with the game the children were playing, gave them a brief sermon about the problems with lying. And at the end of his instruction said, and when I was your age, I never lied. The children remained quiet for a few seconds, and then the oldest one said, give him the dog. One truth we have to wrestle with in our lives is that at some point or another, we have failed. We have stopped short of our goal. We have missed the mark. We have sinned. The good news as we begin this Advent season dedicated to the promise of mercy is that God understands our failings and failures. It is true that our God is a God of justice, but it is even more defining and true about our God that He is a God of mercy. Advent is a time of mercy, and especially Advent this year, opening the door to a year of mercy in a few days. Beginning December 8th, on the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, the Church wants to remind us that mercy is not just one of the characteristics of our God, but that mercy is at the heart of the Christian revelation. God did not send His Son into the world to simply share with the righteous and those living a good life, but He came to call sinners. We say this in every liturgy we celebrate, as we acknowledge ourselves as sinners, as we ask God to have mercy on us, as we ask God not to pay attention to our sins, but to the faith of His church. All these moments in the liturgy are opportunities to remember that the weakness of God is our humble call of repentance, knowing that we cannot do God's will without His help and grace. This Advent is a time that we celebrate that God has come to our rescue through His Son, Jesus Christ. That even when we sin, we must avail ourselves and claim for ourselves God's mercy. After all, if we had to choose between God's justice and God's mercy, we would all in our right minds choose mercy any day. As much as we would like to say that we never lied, never failed, never sinned, such a statement leaves us out of the blessing of salvation now and simply makes us comfortable just waiting for our final day. This lack of realism truly deserves what the little boy of our story said, give him the dog. Let us go together, my brothers and sisters, to the throne of mercy this Advent. Let us make it a point to recognize our weaknesses humbly and powerfully claim the mercy of our God. Like Jesus reminds us in the gospel for this first Sunday of Advent, may we beware that our hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and from the anxieties of life so that we may be ready for God's coming into our lives. If we do that, relying on God's mercy, we will never dismay, be perplexed or surprised and trapped since with God there is always fullness of mercy and fullness of redemption for those who claim it. Amen.